y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler, and you've arrived at day 77 of the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2020. Thank you all so much for being with me today. Our tangle is going to be Tribe. It is by Beata Winkler. She is the one of the oldest CZTs in Germany and has written many books. And uh, you uh, can check her out on Tangle Patterns. Uh, okay, Tribe is a cool triangular based uh, organic pattern and we're going to explore it. It's very similar to the Lava uh, Tangle that we did last time with Caden. And it just so happens that Caden has joined us again today. We're going to see if he Hi. if he can make it through today. The last one was hard. The last one was hard, so I expect to hear that from y'all too. All right, so I'm not going to bother with a, sp a string today. I'm going to use a gray toned tile and my black PN, okay? And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I'm having a terrible time with dry cuticles. They are splitting and cracking and really tearing my hands up. So uh, I apologize. I don't want it to be distracting for you guys. I'm fine. It's just, you know, you know, okay. All this Oh, I know it. <laughs> oh, we're making all of our skins dry. Exactly. All right. So this is going to start with a triangle. Now, uh, we're going to stylize that triangle just a little bit. And uh, I am going to not start in the center of my tile, but you guys may start in the center. If you want Tribe to look, whoops, wrong one. If you want Tribe to look more uh, like a that's it. Thank you. If you want Tribe to look more like a radial tangle, so it goes all the way around in a circular fashion, uh, then you can set it more towards the middle if you want. Uh, Beata had some really cool examples on her site where she had them uh, elongated like, uh, like that. So uh, I think that's what I want to try today. But... Um, well, so maybe I will put this center-ish. We'll see. I'll put it off to the side a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a triangle with the slightly concave sides. Okay, so just a slightly curved C shape on each side, and they're going to, they're going to go inward like this. And the last one will close in like this. So just a regular line. Yes, perfect. It reminds me of cheese. It it does, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is like a little chunk of cheese in it. Okay. All right. So now on each side of this, we are going to make something that looks like a dorsal fin on a dolphin or a whale. Okay. And so basically, it's going to have a curved side up, and then it's going to have a concave side down. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? Yes, mine's more of a shark. Perfect, perfect. All right, so turn your tile and make your little shark's fin, dorsal fin, on each side. These can be as large or as small as you like, but uh, I think you will find the results the most pleasing if you will turn them all the same way in that the same side is curved and the same side is concave for each one of these. So now you have one on each side and just like we do for the radial tangles that we've done, we're gonna start filling in gaps and going around and just adding more, okay? So I'm going to add one across this other, sort of in the center of these two. Then I'm gonna turn my tile and take your time. And I'm gonna draw in another. And they're gonna get a little bit larger as we go on each side. And at this point, you can add or not as you like. Or not. 
or not, meaning oh. you can add more on each side or stop adding on each side to shape it the way that you want it to go. Does okay, that make I sense? Like, I don't know how to add it, no. <laughs> good call, good call. So I think for me, I'm going to put another one right here across this. And remember, keeping your curves consistent all the way around. And... I think I'll put another one here. And again, I'm getting larger as I go. And one more here, and then I think that's the last one I'll add. Maybe I'll add one more here, and then I'll be done with this back side, I think. And then I'm gonna focus on bringing mine down more towards this way. So I think I'm gonna add another one here. And remember, this is completely intuitive. So you can do them however you like. Oh, that looks good, Kaden. You're gonna have something interesting when we get done. Um, I feel like this should be called Tribe. I feel like this should be called Finby. I think you should be in charge of naming tangles. I think yes. that would be very entertaining. All right. So well, I'm going to start adding more larger, moving towards the other corner here, and I'm getting fairly large, but I'm not concerned about that because uh, this is going to be fun to embellish. So this one is going to be mostly or partially out of frame, as I like to say. And then I'm gonna add another one down here And I think I'll put one over here. Ugh. What? Ugh, you have so many. Oh, but just go slow. Don't rush. I know. That's why I'm saying you have so many. Hmm. I'm just taking my time and drawing them in you one at a time. I have too many? Yeah, I have too many. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Take your time. The larger you get, the fewer you have to draw. Just a little tip <laughs> from me to you. So now, it, you're, I'm not going strictly over the way it, for each side anymore. I'm focusing on one side, and I'm just adding more in the, in the uh, division between the elements. And they don't have to be exactly the same. making too many opportunities. So <laughs> oh my God, I love you. I gave you two tiles, remember? If you want to switch out and try again, sometimes it takes time. I used the wrong tiles. Oh, so dude, I... you can you can totally... Let me see the other one. Let me see that. Let's see that. Oh, see that? You could totally fix that. Look, here, Give me give me your pen. Hey, let me see that. <gasps> Look, guys. See, I love this. I think this is excellent. That's why I said we should call it Finby. All right. Tribe. So keep adding your shapes, okay? Keep adding your shapes. You're going to come up with, because we're going to decorate here. We're going to decorate here in just a minute, okay? So I think I'll put one partially out of frame here. I refuse to say anything else. <laughs> that makes sense to me because I'm always uh, talking about the camera thing. So I think I'll put another one over here. Hit the like button if you think it should be called Finby. There you go. Mar uh, uh, Kaden wants to change the name of the tangle. And not that we have any power to do that, mind, but uh, it is an interesting, <laughs> it is an interesting thing. It should be called Finby. All right. All right. I'm going to add another one over here. And one more here, and then I think I'll be done with my shapes. And this is where I'm at. How are you guys doing? Good. See, I love what you've done so far. And you're going to be able to decorate the insides of these, and it's going to look awesome. Should we call Finby? 
I'm going to decorate mine with fish. You do whatever is in your heart to do, my love. All right, guys. So for embellishing, uh, I'm going to start as Beata did in her, in at least one of her examples. And I'm going to just put a aura in the middle of this center one, or sort of center in my case. What's an aura? An aura is a parallel line. So we're you're just going to draw the same shape on the inside of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think I'm going to black mine in. But you do not have to. You can do it however you like. You're going to black yours in. What does that mean? It means I'm going to ink in this middle part so that it's all dark. Oh, that's what I did. Cool. Good job. All right. So that adds some drama and makes it a little dynamic. So there are several ways to, um, where is my example that I was working on? Uh, oh, here. I was using one of Caden's tiles from yesterday to play with embellishments on. And um, so there are a couple of things. You can stripe it the way that I did in the example, and that is easily done. You draw in your element. And then you start from one side and draw to the center, matching the curve of the line. And then from the other side, matching the curve of the line, draw into the center. And then, of course, you black it. And if you like, you can leave your sparkle in. If not, you don't have to. I stopped drawing through the camera. That's never a good plan for me. Well, this is a bit of a mess, so I don't think we'll leave a sparkle. But this is a very dynamic way to fill this. The inking always gets a good result, right? So what else can we do? Well, one of the examples she has is making an aura around the outside of this or the inside of this and then putting, capping that with a fun little uh, orb. And that reminds me of a jester's hat. And so that's a fun way to go. Uh, and I guess you could put that on any of these fills. Uh, another thing I looked at was just drawing a single curved line from, from the tip into the center. And uh, putting a little orb in the middle. You can do that. So there's plenty of triangular type uh, fills that you can use here. Um, let's see. Uh, Maria Thomas is fond of this type thing for triangles. And then you put your little orb in. Now, I don't know how that would mesh with the organic tangle, but it might be a fun way to try that out. So, um, hi, Simba. Uh, hi, Sam. Yeah. So, this is up to you. Hi, you Simba. can choose the way that you like. And I think for me, well, I was going to do the sparkle one, the uh, striped one, but I'm really enjoying the little, actually, I'm going to make, I'm going to do both. So, oh. hey, I like, ooh, Caden's got stripes going this way, and I like that idea. Good idea, baby. All right, so what I'm going to do, you don't? I like them going side to side. Oh, up and down stripes is another idea. You could come in from the center, radiate out from those, and stripe every other one. It's a good oh, idea, yeah. too. He's so talented. I'm telling you, he is. All right. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my striping. And we'll be taking off the tip of our triangle like that, but I think it's going to be fine. And I'm going to put my sparkle towards the tip, for not because it's the apex, but because uh, if I put the sparkle at the tip, it's less likely to get involved with something poking out from the row before. Very practical reason. A very Cindy reason. A very Cindy reason. Okay. 
And then I'm actually gonna, uh, I'm gonna wait on that. I was thinking about putting the little orbs here, but I'm not sure if I'm striping these, how much uh, of the orbs is, are going to actually show. Now I can come back in later with my jelly roll, which I probably will do. What's a jelly roll? It is my white pen, my white gel pen. Mm. And that looks really good on these tanned tiles. Mm. So this is why, this situation is why I wanted to wait on the little orbs on the tips is because if I stripe this, then I've already got black everywhere around here. And this is also the reason why I want my my uh, highlight a little further up towards the tip. Because if it's not, then I'm constantly running it into something else. All right? So this is why I'm hesitating about the orbs. I'm just not sure how effective that will be. And once I put one in, then I'm going to need to put them all in. So I'm trying to uh, hold off on that and see where we end up with this, okay? So I'm just going to turn my tile and keep going. Oh, now I want to name it Tiger Fin because these look like tiger stripes on mine. They kind of, oh, I like that. That is very nice. I kind of want to call it Tiger Fin now because it looks like there's tiger fins on mine. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, like those tiger lionfish. Yes. Those are very pretty. The lionfish are very pretty. Yeah. And I want to catch one, but they say that if you catch it, it will, um, what's it called, do its defense mechanism. Oh, probably. Because it thinks that you're going to harm it. Well, it doesn't know, does it? Nope. Oh, yeah. And speaking of sharks and fish, um, now I know I watched a video on YouTube, and mm -hmm. this guy tapped a shark on its nose, and he flipped it over so it wouldn't hurt him. Mm -hmm. They call it something. I don't remember, though, because... I just wanted to see him turn the shark over. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. that was really cool. If you're ever confronted with a shark, if you can make yourself hit it in the in the nose hard, you might make it go away. No, you don't hit it. You tap it on its nose and then you flip and then you you bop it, you tap it, and then you hold on to it and then you flip it over. Mm. Cuz it puts it into hypnosis. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be tapping any sharks. I know that they will sometimes go away if you uh, scare them off. And that's how they fight is by hitting their faces or their noses against each other. Oh, yeah. Like they do in the movies mm -hmm. when they hit the, their noses mm -hmm. up against the glass. When someone's like banging mm -hmm. on the glass. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I wish I could fight with my nose. Boom, boom. <laughs> that would be a really cool ninja skill, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like like how Lance Sterling does in Spies in Disguise, Sleepy Night Night, except mine would be Nose Night Night. <laughs> boom, and I nose, just poke him with nosey my nose. Night Night? Yep. Okay. Just poke him with quit, my nose. Quit, quit bouncing, baby. There we go. Sleepy Night Night. Mm -hmm. That's a funny movie. If you guys haven't seen it, there's a new animated movie with Will Smith in it called uh, Spies in Disguise. And Tom Holland, the guy who plays the new Spider-Man. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah, that Tom Holland is the guy who plays okay. Spider-Man. Okay. Comment down below if you've seen that movie. It's an awesome movie. It's it makes me funny. laugh out loud every time I see it. And so that, to me, is a great animated movie. Ooh, also playing with fire. That's a good one, too. Yeah, we just watched a movie last night with John Cena in it. And mm. uh, John Leguizamo. And um, I don't remember who else. But um, it, very funny. Very it funny. It was so funny. And it was so cute, too. It the was last, cute. The last part will give you, like, the criers if you don't like. If you like, like, if you don't like like not so sad not so happy ending true it's a little sad but then it get then it's good because they have a happy ending i don't know why i am not aiming well here cindy what was that cats thing what was that cats movie about what it, cats it was called movie? cats you mean the musical cats yeah what's that about 
it's a it's a musical uh, i don't know i've actually never seen it and i know what you guys are going to say cindy you're a music person you've never seen cats what kind of person i know don't, uh, don't I hate on me i know that you were a music person i was a singer before i got sick you that's got sick? that's how i earned my money you got sick mm -hmm. why do you think i stay in this bed all the time you don't well you not always but yeah, I do my art from bed. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I'm going to leave it and not panic and see what happens. Everybody panic for her. Everybody panic for me. Okay, do my panicking for me, guys. Yeah. There is, um, if you're striping like I am, you, you, again, that's why you want the highlight towards the tip. I just uh, made that impossible for myself because I drew it wrong. Sorry, I uh, made an opportunity for myself to draw it in no, a different I, way. I call yours thin waves because the, the little um, lines that you drew, it reminds me of waves. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So I'm calling your thin waves. I like it. It's, instead of Phineas and Ferb, it's going to be fins and waves. <laughs> okay. Fin waves, if you put it together. Fin waves. See? How are you doing? Good. I love all those decorations you're using. Those are awesome, buddy. I'm going to keep this here. You I'm are. Sure all right. You so can you do that. Me when I move. Okay, okay. I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you, too. Are you going to FaceTime me all the time? You better. I will. I will. I want to see oh. your sweet face. Hold on. Not now. S someone's calling me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the boys took Simba for a walk. He's a happy camper. He loves having the kids here. With limited success here with the with the striping and the sparkles you have there has to be some planning in this and oh uh oh mowing it's our lawn so we really can't complain all right so we're gonna have to deal with that it's gonna be all right though you know what I might do on the ends of these is put a jelly roll orb instead of a black orb. Um, because this is a tan tile, that might work really well. So let's go ahead and finish and then decide. I think what I'm going to do is draw in my, my double lines here and then come back and stripe them. I think I'll have less trouble with uh, remembering what I'm doing uh, striping wise if I do it that way oh, I'm almost done I just have to draw some more stripes on the end that's awesome baby I think you've done a great job today oh wow I, it's so sad I feel like the videos normally aren't this short <laughs> well we're not done yet I've still got all the striping to do oh you guys did a lot I didn't do a lot I didn't want to, and I'm leaving soon. And you don't have to, either. You don't have to do what I do. Oh, yeah, my mom said she'd be here in a little bit. Okay. Can I have that speaker? <laughs> yes, baby, you can have the speaker. Okay. Me and my friend are going to have a party tonight. Did you put that watch away? Do you have it in your stuff to take with you, or is it still laying oh, where you left it? I put it away. Good job. All right.
because of these situations it makes it problematic for the striping but I'm gonna keep going because I love the way it looks and I think that perhaps I'll be able to fix some things up with my jelly roll No, you didn't. You just put the package open in the fridge, which is worse. Well, technically they say leave them in the package because if they get No. Bad, yeah, they say No. Leave them in the package. Because once you've opened that package, then then you have opened yourself up to germs and bacteria. I By know, repackaging it in a clean baggie, then that's a much better way of doing it. Well, I needed to put it somewhere and you just want me to put it in I there. told you exactly you did exactly what I asked you to do. I'm not complaining. He's complaining. I'm pointing out that he doesn't have any room to complain. Oh. Because he's acting like the way he did it was fine. It wasn't fine. It was worse. But they do say to put the package where the hot dogs are if you want it to be as seasoned as it was before. So if you guys like your guys' hot dogs perfectly seasoned with nothing... There's no seasoning in there, honey. There's no seasoning on hot dogs? No, it, there might be in the hot dogs that they've processed into it, but the package uh, doesn't have seasoning in it. I know, but if but all that seasoning will rub off if you just put it in the zip Honey, it's not, it won't rub off, it's inside the meat. Um, okay, well. They have seasoned the meat itself. It's not like, like a roast or something where it's marinating in, in seasonings. Ro your roast is so good. Yeah, I stopped making it because Mari complained all the time. That's funny, because he ate it all gone all the time. I know. Huh. It's getting old. It's getting old. The last two times I made it, he didn't eat any. Oh. He just wants his eyesight. That's why he's his eyesight's getting worse. He hasn't eaten any roast lately. And roast he hasn't has eaten anything. Any. When I was little, I thought if you wore glasses, you were going to get made fun of. And then I wore glasses, and then I realized, oh wait, I'm not going to get fun of. Lots of people wear glasses. I know, but when I was little, I didn't know about that. Anymore. And quite honestly, baby, no matter what you do in school, somebody's going to make fun of you because that's the nature of school and kids. They're mean. I'm not mean! Yes, you are. You can be. And so can you. Mari, you're mean to me all the time, dude. Oh, well, even Simba was like, mm. Sim, don't, don't, don't bark at Mark, bud. Don't bark at Mark. Is Mark at the front door? Mm -hmm. I've been looking down at my tile. No, nope, must not be. All right, still working here. I don't feel like I've gotten very far. This is a lot of blacking that I chose to do. I'm almost done. Good job. job, Kaden. Can I show them? Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Let me finish Ooh, what I'm doing. Yours looks cool. Thank you. Let look me see. At Ooh, look at this. Isn't that nice? I like how well you did that. I love how you did your stripes, Kaden. It reminds me of waves. I really like this. This is 
awesome. And then, and then the ones that have triangles on them, I made them kind of line up with those. Mm, okay, I want you to find a place on here and I want you to draw in your first initial. Okay. Okay, and that, that will be your artist mark. I already have an artist mark. No, I want you to put it on the front small someplace. Just slip it in. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to take up room or get anybody's attention. It's just supposed to be something to show that you drew this. You can decorate it if you want. Just whatever you want to do. Done. Let's see. Beautiful KK. I like it. It says K W H W. I like it. That it is beautiful. Yes. And you put your name on the back, right? And the yes. date. See? Okay, Excellent target. job, Third buddy. Time. It looks like an eight because I wrote a zero. Again. You did great. And then it's by... Beata Winkler. Yeah. Very good. Du bist der Vorragend. Boom. High five. All right, buddy. Okay. Thank you for participating with us today. You're welcome. Bye, guys. It is always nice to have Caden come and draw with me. I'm going to miss my baby. Caden is Mari's cousin. He is Sean's son. <sighs> miss my Sean. I have to say I am not excited with my sparkles today. Uh, I feel like the the introduction of these other uh, elements into it is really throwing me off my game. But uh, I have gone far enough now where I need to continue. I was up all night again last night. I uploaded yesterday's video at, wait, I uploaded today's video at 9.30 this morning after being awake all night. And yeah, here we are with tomorrow's. Uh, when I have the kids, it is really hard for me to get this done. So I end up waiting until they're in bed, and since it's the weekend, they've been going to bed at midnight. I'm really not getting anywhere. I didn't start really, truly editing until about 2.30 this morning. Zero 2.30. So I slept about three hours between 10 and 1. I'm grateful the boys were able to let me rest that long. And remember to shift your pen in your hand. And keep your ink flowing nice and smooth. I don't know if that's truly a thing, but for me, it seems to make a difference. 
I frequently have a pen that will be uh, more flowy on one side than it is on the other. I may go back in and completely black them all and then uh, do something with a jelly roll, maybe. Uh, I just don't know yet. I know the bigger these are, the, the harder they are to, um, the longer they take to fill, which is never my favorite thing. I don't mind the striping, but once you get to filling this big an area, then I have trouble Take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders, Cindy. It's not a race. So I'm finding it fairly difficult to do the striping in a pleasing fashion. So just that's your cautionary tale today if uh, you're gonna try striping. It may be a little more difficult than you think. And I'm using a very light pressure here. Remember, the lighter the pressure on your pen, the more ink flow you're going to get. When you press hard, you're forcing the tooth of the paper up into the pen, uh, into the little tube of the pen where the ink comes out. And when you do that, you cause a blockage and your, your ink does not flow out freely. If you will turn it frequently in your hand and just use a very light touch, I think you've you will find it works fairly well. I just cannot get these to look right. But again, as I found yesterday with Cabana, it turned out all right in the end. I was, I was pretty pleased with the way it turned out actually, considering the mess that I made while I was drawing the tile. Although I did black the uh, internal parts of Cabana on the one where I had them all turn different directions with the hatch marks, which I, I found funny. <laughs> but that's also a viable alternative for those kinds, kinds of things. It's more, it's less about there being no mistakes and more about changing the way that you look at things. I think, I hope. Because the whole no mistakes thing, just, you know, I, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I feel like they're mistakes. See, my other option would be to ink these all in. But if I do that, then I've completely lost my ability to differentiate between these here. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna continue with, uh, well, wait. Well, maybe not any more so than it already is. 
Well, again, let me finish and then we'll, we'll reassess then. Remember, these are works that are done in layers. You, you ink and then you think. <laughs> you think and then you ink. You go through and you draw your lines, then you do your embellishing. And then you shade, and you do some more embellishing perhaps. You shade again, two more times, minimum. And you decide if you wanna add anything else. It's, it's rarely just a simple matter of there, I drew it, we're done. In order for these to have the consistently, um, consistently nice finished looks, um, which is something I seek but don't always find, uh, then you have to be willing to put the time in too. That means taking time with your inking, taking time drawing your lines, Oh, I think I've run through this pen already. Luckily for me, I have a bunch more. <laughs> Thank you guys, you're awesome. <laughs> okay. This will be lots of fun when we get done. Caden mm -hmm. is singing. That's my musical kid. I'm changing out my PN to see if this will move us along a little bit better. I don't like about these these pens and it's a really picky kind of a flaw that I find is that some of them are very are feel scritchy even though they're full of ink and I think it has to do with something about the plastic nib I don't know if it's touching or scratching or what but um, yeah okay now right here we're about to you know, completely obscure the tip of this. Come at this from another direction.
I think I'll go ahead and black the rest of this part in or ink it. I don't have a working 08 or I would be trying that. But these spaces are too small for my alcohol marker. And since this is part of the actual pattern, I don't want to use anything water-based. That would run if it should happen to get wet or something. All right, I think I'm down to the last one. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Could you remind Kate and I'm recording?
All right, so I've been trying to get these highlights to look a little bit less uh, awkward. And yeah, I don't know that that can happen at this point. Um, like this one really just needs blacking. I think maybe one that isn't done might be okay. This one. And Some of these, you know, it's better left. So the way I think I'm gonna handle these and the reason that I'm doing this is to sort of um, make the edges look a little bit more natural even though it makes the middle part less highlighted. Uh, what I'm gonna come in and do is, since this is a tan tile and I can mess with a white charcoal pencil, is I think I'm gonna bring my white charcoal pencil in and go over this area and just uh, draw out that highlight. And I think once that's done, uh, the, re the rest of the awkwardness will be softened a little bit. I just, I just could not seem to get these looking natural. And you know, when that happens, you have a couple of choices that you can make you can choose to black whatever was not acceptable in and go without uh or you can try um you know some of your other options which include jelly rolls and white charcoal pencils so um let's get the white charcoal pencil out try it real quickly and see what we're going to have with that and then i'll know whether it's going to be effective or not all right, so I'm going to use my white charcoal here to see what effect I can get. I'm just going to smooth it on in little circles. Oh, yeah, see, right there. That'll work. Let's try this again. And if you get some white charcoal someplace where you don't want it to be, you can just come back in over it with your ink pen and take care of that. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Yay! Every now and then it goes right. <laughs> and all you can do is say yay. Yay! And so luckily, I can use this to mitigate somewhat some of the unevenness and the, and the uh, problems that I was having with these little highlights. I, I'm not really happy with their placement at all. I think uh, if I draw this, or when I draw this pattern again, because I really like it, uh, I will probably choose where my highlighted area is and mark it first and then do my drawing in, or my inking in. And this doesn't need to look just perfect. It's going to, the overall effect, once we're done with the shading and everything, is gonna be awesome. All right. Let's, I don't know if that's gonna be effective or not. Maybe not. I'll just ink over that. Hmm. 
not as light here, but it's still going to work. And by the time we get everything finished up, it's all going to blend together and it's not going to be noticeable at all, I don't think. And if you're looking for it, you're going to find it. And that's the thing that I have really been learning and, and just the last 75 days have really reinforced for me how important it is to not give up on your art before you're finished with it all the way through. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use my Zentangle pencil. This is a 2B pencil. It is also made by the General Pencil Company, the same one that makes the, um, the same one that makes the white charcoal pencils. Now that's a sharp tip. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first for shading is I'm going to hit all of these overlapping spots. And remember, since we're using graphite, I'm going to want to avoid the areas that I have inked, because that will cause that shine, that, that really annoying graphite shine. Let's see if I can do this without shaking too badly. Um, I might try to ink that here in a minute. Uh, let's be symmetrical about this so I don't forget any spots because otherwise I'm going to be confused. So let's start here. I have my mono zero to pick up any stray graphite. And I'm going to go layer by layer or row by row or circle by circle. Whatever it is, that's what we're going to do. And if I go in a row each, each layer, then the likelihood of me missing a spot is fractionally less, I think. All right, let's jump to the next one. So we're just going to shade on each side, everywhere these overlap. Okay. Let's not lose our focus here, Cindy. definitely be a part of this finishing process. And this shading is definitely, you have to really keep an eye out for what's going on, but you're just shading the parts that look like they've overlapped. All right, I think, we'll, t we'll see, but I think I got, oh, nope, missed a few over here. Okay. All 
right, let's blend this for just a little bit and see where we end up. I'm gonna again start at the inside and work my way out. Now normally in another situation, I would use the white charcoal last, but in this situation, since I sort of needed to know what was up, but I think it'll be okay. We can always go in and add more if we need it the, on the white charcoal, if it gets uh, obscured. Now remember, I used a much higher uh, uh, level of graphite in this pencil today than I normally do with my F pencil that I that I, I normally use because I am I am very heavy with the graphite when I apply it not not necessarily intentionally but um, uh, I just know that I have to really watch myself with graphite if I'm not careful then I get way too much so um, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes like I said finishing tiles is about working in layers going through over and over looking for things that you've missed adding things in uh, finding ways to make things uh, look more dynamic you know finishing touches uh, can take a long time can take almost as long as the tile so um, just take your time know that art takes time good art takes a long time I always felt like one of my problems uh, being an artist was that I was too slow. <laughs> Imagine how happy it made me to find Zentangle where they want you to slow down. That was definitely one of my barriers, I think. I don't think I could ever work as an artist as far as, you know, um, in an office or something like that because they would want too much. Um, they would want it too fast. It would just never work for me. But this is perfect for me. This relaxed sort of no pressure approach to art just works. I love the shading on gray. right here so there are a couple of spots I will want to take the mono zero to and just lift up some of the extra graphite but overall I think this is uh, becoming pretty dynamic just zoom out here a little bit so um, yeah what I might do here at this point is go back to the white charcoal and in these places drag that highlight over onto the lighter portion that isn't inked I'm not sure you can even tell from that angle Light the way it is but let's try adding this along here and then we'll blend it out with the tortillon
So this definitely helps some uh, if I can get it away. Let me blend this out and see if I can soften some of these edges out a little bit. And then we will be done for today. So I have a couple of options um, here. I can leave this as is and um, leave it as a focal point tangle and uh, maybe uh, shade in the background a little bit along these spines to finish it up. I can put an aura around this and do something else um, inside that. Um, that might be um, a fun way to bring this together. Uh, I can add some sort of a fill to the background, um, something simple, uh, maybe, well, something like batten might work. However, because of the layering effect of this, I'm not sure we wanna do something that dynamic in the background, uh, unless I were to do it without Unless I were able to do it without the um, ink fills. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know this video has already been long enough. So I'm going to think on it, figure it out, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to leave it here today, guys. I thank you so much for the time and effort that you put into watching these videos every day. And I am so grateful to all of you for being my tangling partners for the last 75 days. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for day 78. Goodness gracious, 78. All right, see you then.